Hello. And welcome back to new week, new game. I'm just gonna skip that cutscene. Just because it's loud, and it'll go over my voice. We don't want that. We're a little late for new week, new game. Unfortunately, I was not feeling well these past few days, but I'm feeling much better now. So we're playing video catch up in order to get through all of October's videos before November hits. So today we have Sunday and Monday's video, and then tomorrow will be Tuesday and Wednesday's video. So with it being Sunday, we get new week, new game. And I thought, there's one trope I haven't gotten into with this month. And it was zombies. Zombies is one of my favorite Halloween horror tropes. I just like zombies as a concept. Everyone thinks that this would be one of the more realistic things that could happen out of all the horror things. Of course, I don't believe that. I think people can show traits and similarities of a zombie, but the more horror thing that will actually happen is just like slashers. We have people who actually kill people so that's your your horror movie thing that actually comes to life no werewolves no vampires ghosts maybe but nothing to where it's like 13 ghosts kind of ghosts and some people even think zombies have happened we had that one florida man story where florida man was eating a, a man's face a lot of people were getting high on this drug and kind of given like the zombie type symptoms. But yeah, one of the zombie games that I haven't gotten into, or at least one of the zombie series that I haven't gotten into has been Dead Island. And there's Dead Island, and then there's Dead Island Riptide, and then Dead Island 2. Out of the three, I think Riptide got the worst feedback from it. Two came out, and I remember seeing people being excited for it, and then it just seemed like it vanished within two or three days after it was released. I heard nothing about it. That was it. I saw one of the streamers that I watched played it for one day, and then was done with it. And I'm a stickler for going in order of games. So that's why we're starting with Dead Island Definitive Edition. I have the Classic Edition in here too, but I guess we'll go for the more improved graphics. So without further ado, let's get in the game. Public, nearby friends, notification, voice chat. I don't think anyone's going to be able to play this. So we can be Logan, the throwing expert. Yurina, the firearms expert. Xena, sharp weapon expert. Or Sam B, the blunt weapon expert. I do like me some blunt weapons. I think that might be who I'd be. Oh wait, hang on a second. Then you got Ryder. Now let's go with Sam. I grew up in New Orleans, Lower Ninth Ward. My daddy went to prison when I was two. That's where he died. Angola. 
Mama didn't never recover from that. Just drank and did crack. And any random motherfucker who didn't smack her around too bad. My nana the one who raised me. She run the Walsh Interior. We lived in a little shotgun house on Burgundy. From the time I was 10, man, I want to rap. I was into old school freestyle rap. Now I'd be kicking ass at them battles, bro. But man, just couldn't catch a break. Nothing caught on. So, one Halloween, I come up with who do you voodoo, bitch? Just as a motherfucking joke, you know? <laughs> We're right to the top of the hip hop charts like a motherfucking rocket. And suddenly, I was famous. Going to the Grammys, hitting the parties. Man, I had bitches up to yin yang. And for the first time in my life, I was making money. Shit. I was spending it as quick as I was getting it. I thought I'd made it, you know what I'm saying? That that grave train wasn't there going in. So I did another song, and another song, and nothing hit. Nothing fucking hit. Song after song, and ain't nobody give a shit. Been 10 years, man. But yeah, I can still get gigs, but all they want me to do is, who do you voodoo, bitch? I used to play the big casinos in Vegas or Atlanta City. Now nah, it's just Reno or Laughlin. Some motherfucking cruise ship. So this gig here might be my last chance. I mean, there's some heavy Hollywood hitters up in there. If I could notice, yeah, I could be right back up on top there. You know what I'm saying? All right. I like that they have backstories. Why am I not moving? This isn't the controller. <gasps> this is Hotel Emergency Broadcast System. Everything seems so like wavy. What we got here? Seven dollars. Dollars. Blue. This is Hotel Taking people's wallets and stuff. Quickly break the I don't know what I did. I clicked the left mouse button. And then, uh... I moved down and it just broke the door. God, if you have motion sickness, this is, this is the game that'll give it to you real bad.
Yeah. Just see if people fall. You don't want to pass up anything useful. supposed to go for oh, I guess we're going back in See what we got here. An achievement there and back again. The lifeguard said no. You heard what he said. Do you hear what's going on out there? You won't play inside here. I'm doing it. No! Didn't oh, I bloody tell you? No, stop! Wait! Hey! Can you hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Nod your head! Nod your bloody head! I ain't asking you again! Oh, thank God. I'm a doctor, not a bloody executioner. Did that back up? Bashing your head in. <sighs> Fuck, I should've never listened to Cinemoy. Steven, was that you on my radio? Is 
everything shaking. Uh, I'm injured. Those things came for us, and Sinemoy went out to kill them alone. SOS! SOS! I'm transmitting from a bungalow at the Panoi Beach Resort. We're trapped and under attack. Hear me? Anyone? Why won't anyone help him? We can't just let him die out there. He saved your life. You owe him your life. Got a weapon I can use? You going out there? Are you nuts? You're not gonna help him. Get the hell out of the way. You at least have a weapon? No. You need to find a weapon. Please. All right. Paddle. This is fucking crazy. On three. One, two, fuck it. Three. Of course, as I go out there, the guy gets attacked. <laughs> oh. Oh. How'd that feel? that that's the last one nice okay then thanks mates We were just attacked. Listen, your friend from the hotel's awake. You were right about him being immune to this thing. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Maybe now we can hold out until help arrives. I can hardly hear the you voice. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. There. I can arrange for transportation. By air, by sea, but first you need to get here. To me. I have many sick and injured here, mate. They're crazy with fear. Tell me where you are. Where are you? You there, mate? Hello? Hello? Oh, God damn it. Just touch and go with you for a while. You better. You've completed the prologue and the co-op mode is now available. Enter lobby from game menu where you can find and join other players, try fighting zombies with friends, or compete a completely new experience. Uh, we didn't think you were gonna make it. Player mode enabled. Be surprised if they still have a server up for this old game. Name's John Cinemoy. The head lifeguard here. The voice on the radio told me you were in trouble at the hotel. Said you were resistant to whatever this is. I didn't believe it. But then I found you and I saw the bite marks. You got no symptoms, but <laughs> those aren't love bites, are they? Look, I don't know who you are or how you know that guy on the radio, but he's our only connection with the outside world. We keep losing the bloody signal. We have a monsoon coming. So here's the thing. We need to move everybody to the main lifeguard station. There's an ambulance there and more equipment and a stronger radio with an antenna. I hate to ask, but we can't do this without you. Will you help me? Let's go. Yeah, okay. Good. First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Mine's in my room. 
With all the commotion, I forgot to take it with. It's in Bungalow 11, by the pools. Take a weapon and watch yourself. You may be immune, but that don't mean you can't die. So because I'm a mute, they're just gonna keep sending me out to do things. This is the end of day. Fuck, I sh why the hell did I stay here with Cinnamoy? I should have listened to Maggie and left with James and the others. They probably found a way off the island by now. Maybe there's still time to find them. If you're out there and you see Maggie and the others, could you let me know where they are? Sure. How can I say no? Ah, uh, thanks. I'll be here. Because, I mean, you know, where the hell else am I going to go? Let's get out of here. How do I switch weapons? That's how you throw. And then it'll switch in. It says energy drink taken, but it's just used. It's a nail plank. Take a nail plank. Don't really have any quest dot, so I guess I just pick a direction and go. What's up, surfer guys? Might have gone the wrong way. It's a portal over there. Skills. I leveled up and I can upgrade. Let's do our combat. Using a blunt weapon can, can trigger a special attack if you press left mouse button while aiming for the enemy's head. These blunt weapons are now more efficient and effective. Blunt weapon damage plus 5%, blunt weapon stamina cost minus 10, blunt weapon critical hit chance 1%, head damage inflicted with blunt weapons plus 5%. Thinking maybe I should have gone more where there was like buildings. Just kinda wide out in the open. Let's 
guy's a sprinter. Get more tired just right there. Alright, I guess that was a one shot. Water dance, turn off the electricity in this area. Why am I using my fists? What happened to the items that I have? No, I guess I have to drag and drop. So they can stay in my inventory, but apparently they can't be right, uh, placed right away. I have to do that myself. Let's go inside first. Boom. That hurts me a little. that they would talked about would happen if I aimed for their head. Workbench is nearby. Use it to modify, repair, and upgrade weapons. We had lock picking three. We could open that. Let's see. Follow the wire. Kind of cuts off there. Guess we gotta follow it over here. It don't want to pass up anything useful. Circuit. A tiring baseball bat. Is there a way I can read something? Exploding meat blueprint. Meat, meat bait bleach. Meat. Blunty shocked mod. Need the heavy morning star. And then a ripper mod, which is the baseball bat, which we have. I can find two metal scrap and one more duct tape. I can make this. I'd be surprised if we can find that just lying around here somewhere. go on the roof of this building too. I can do that. Whew. 
crowbar. As opposed to regular crowbars, which apparently are not that threatening. I can't jump with this. Zombie on the roof of that gas station. This dead person's not a zombie. Nope. And if they are, they got one leg. So I don't really have to worry about them coming at me. going on are you like that feeble homemade cleaver I throwing that stick at it. There we go. I knew there had to be a way to change weapons. Cause that cleaver is the head. Let's open this up. Flimsy crowbar. Guess we're going inside. Never mind. There's another or somewhere. Hey. Wanna come down here? I have plenty of weapons. I just keep checking and matching. He's got quite a bit of durability on him. Just all my weapons are gonna go beyond this roof. Alright, so how are we supposed to get up there? Hey, can I drive this? saw to get up there was the ladder on this side where all the electricity is come on 
Yeah. So I'll just move since I can't go inside of the gas station. Do I just follow these power lines? It's gonna lead me to the next thing to shut off. Challenge. Oh, it's just a pickup. Oh, stack. to be able to get to that ladder, I guess. Um. Oh. Had to die right next to the boxes, huh? some healing. Energy drink. Perfect. Back to full. Till I step off of this and get burned by that zombie just laying there. Oh, here goes another. This asshole's going down! Sir, you don't have a head. Still putting up a fight, though. They can respect that. Zombies are so cool. Uh, uh, or just die to the sign that fell on me. Could do that. Should have just gave me like partial damage, but nope. How strong are you? I have done so much damage to him. Person's gonna wind up being like really tough when I get up there, isn't he? Alright, all the power stations are done. So now I can go up here. Fight Surfer Douche. What's going on? Oh, he really is. Got a blunty. $149 on him. That's why he was so strong. All that money gave him power. Alright. Am I supposed to get something up here? Oh. Stay down there. 
It don't want to pass up anything useful. Are we gonna... No, is this glass? It was glass. Flimsy hammer. Juice pack. My juice pack. Quite a few juice packs here. If I'm not supposed to drink, what do I need them for? It's an energy drink. supposed to grab. Maybe I take the juice packs, load them in the back of that truck. I don't think I have a mission where we need juice packs though. Alright, where are you at? Come on. them back to that little bungalow. Oh yeah, look at this. They just magically float in the back of that truck bed. Instead, I just left, clicked, and threw it back there. Like, hey, I know you told me to go out there and find some people, but, uh, it didn't. But I brought juice. That's cool, right? That'll replace the loved ones that you're looking for, right? Juice. Sweet, sugary goodness with a fruity flavor. It's way better than a loved one, right? Now you saw those fuel tanks inside that little shed back there too. So I'm wondering if vehicles have fuel. wander back in here. Yeah, they did. What the hell? I cleared this out for a reason. I'm just gonna stumble back in here and hang out. Alright, well they're glowy, but I can't pick them up. Can't let this lady steal my juice. About driving, I do not like first person driving. You can cross this, right? Isn't gonna be a problem. 
Or in a truck. We got a 4x4. Four four. Alright, well that's gonna be... I'm not gonna test that. I just like walk the juice back. This is just where we're gonna drop this truck off here. Pick up this juice pack. Let's go deliver it. I brought with me the nectar of the gods. Aren't you all happy to see me? Bringing you juice? See everybody here is still dead? Wipe your tears away. I have sunshine. Hey. Go. We can't wait. If those things come in force again, this straw hut won't last 20 minutes. Well, it's juice. Actually, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave that open. Hope that's okay. Pretty sure no one's gonna attack you, but I gotta do some trips to get this juice to you. Since the truck doesn't seem to. Ah! They stole my juice. All my juice is gone. <sighs> Scavengers. Bunch of menaces, I'm telling you. Alright, well. I think this is a good place to end it. Kind of tilted now that my juice is all gone. I worked hard to get that. I had to solve some electric puzzle type thing. I got killed by a sign that fell on me. I'm just gonna... Well, that's a pretty stiff uh, beach ball. Must be filled with sand, or maybe it's one of those round concrete balls that somebody painted to be a beach ball. It's a cruel joke. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna close this though. You guys all make me sad. Just a bunch of sad people. So there you have it. That's uh, Dead Island. Definitive edition. The very first. Dead Island. Um, I'm not a big fan of the, the first person movement thing. It's just very, like, motion heavy. Just something was kind of, like, off and wavy about it. Like, moving left is, like, feels like my person's just like, eh. Like, he's gonna tip over. Like, he's trying to balance himself while he's walking. Um, uh, I accepted missions quests to find people oh there's a track quest here there we go okay so that was my fault I was like I accept two quests and it doesn't even give me a marker to go and find them here on this map had I gone into the journal I would have seen that there is uh, the quests I would have seen there was a track option so my fault. Do one of these two. I don't know if the camera's out of focus or not. Um, didn't get too super into the game to really give any type of honest review or anything of this. Just from my little bit of experience of just randomly going out, stumbling across an area, clearing it, and loading a truck with juice to bring back to the survivors in hopes that they would be happy was really all we did, and that, that wasn't one of the quests that we were given. I was kind of just filling the game out. Combat's not bad. I like the combat. I wish I had enough materials to be able to craft something to, uh, you know, see what kind of, like, weird and odd weapons they have. If it's got a crafting s uh, system similar to, like, Dead Rising, we were just essentially, like, duct taping a chainsaw to a broom or a paddle, and now you've got a Extended little chainsaw, maybe two chainsaws, maybe you're just double chainsaw, paddle, boat, and zombies to death. 
Um, but yeah, would I come back and, and play this game again? Mm, I might not. It, it does seem kind of... Like, not really exciting. They did say something about it being better with friends. Playing it better with people. So maybe that's got something to do with it. Uh, I may even just skip this in Riptide and go straight to 2 just to see if 2's any better. See if they improved upon certain things. I mean, you got leveling up, you got skills, you've got different characters who have different abilities, which I'm assuming is just going to be a whole different skill tree for each character based on what their expertise is. Um... I don't know. Now I'm on the fence if I'd come back or not and play it. It didn't really grab my attention in the, the few... What do we play it for? About an hour, 51 minutes of recording this. It hasn't really caught my attention to where I want to go and do something. But maybe if I stuck to the quest, I could have actually, you know, done something. Like finding Maggie. Is this going to point us directly to where Maggie's at? No. No, it's not. Because it doesn't even know where Maggie is. I would have to uh, go back and just essentially do passport to life and maybe eventually we run into Maggie. We don't know where she's at. She's out there somewhere. I don't know which one's Maggie. Does she have a name tag on her? Because if she's a zombie, I feel like she's not going to confirm to me that she's Maggie. I don't know what this person looks like. Wasn't it given a photo or a description? So, uh... Who knows, maybe I'll just kill a zombie and I'll have like a tramp stamp on the back that just says Maggie. Bring it back. Like, is this it? Yeah. Anyways, that is going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next spooky game. Goodbye.